Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 4 of 3D Maya playlist. In this video, we will learn about scale, rotation and a pivot point of 3D Maya. So for this video, I am using this project that uh, you can download from the description. Uh, now let's start with the basics. Uh, let's, uh, I select this wheel and press F to focus on it. So if you want to focus on any per particular um, object on screen, uh, so just uh, select that object and press F to focus on it. Now let's open a options of rotate tool. So by double clicking on this icon here and uh, you can also access these options by holding E key and left mouse button for uh, this uh, rotate option. Now you can see here as we have a rotate tool active. So these options are only for rotate tool only. So we can switch between uh, object and uh, world space and uh, you can see all these orientation. So let's uh, select this object. Now it is easily to rotate about this on object axis. So if I select this to word, now it rotate with respect to word axis easily. And uh, if I select this to component and right click and choose face. Now you can see here the single orientation is with respect to normal here. So here is a face and these orientation is with respect to normal. Now this is very useful if I select this to soft select. So to select this to soft select by hold the B key and the middle mouse button drag to expand this soft radius here. So now you can see the axis of orientation is aligned with the faces. So if I select this to soft select and it manipulate all the faces within this soft select radius. Uh, now this is very interesting point. So let's uh, undo that. Now press F8 to switch back to object mode. Now press F8 to switch back to object mode. Now let's set this orientation to gimbal. So in this gimbal situation, as I rotate this wheel, you can see how this individual axis updates. So with respect to this updating, so that this get gimbal lock situation. So in this gimbal lock situation, uh, two axes is overlapping each other. Uh, now you can see here, uh, now set this to zero. Now move as we are moving on. Um, let's check this option called custom axis orientation. Uh, in this axis orientation, you can type all these axis orientation manually. Uh, I mean, uh, you can type X, Y, Z axis manually. So let's set X to 90 degree and uh, this to 60 and uh, this 30 degree. So here it is. Uh, you can see. Now reset the setting here and get back to the object here. Now there is an interesting orientation trick based on this orientation of another object in this screen. Now let's take an example. Now take this wheel and rotate randomly here. Now I'm going to select this wheel and set this to custom and then middle mouse button on this uh, setting right here. here. Now you can see this tool setting changes. So uh, it is asking me to pick an object on screen. Now I'm going to select this object that I have rotated wheel. Now you can see this rotation manipulated matches this orientation of this wheel here. So this rotate wheel and uh, my selected wheel uh, has a same rotate, uh, same rotate orientation. Uh, now I choose reset and let's undo this all orientation on wheel here. Yeah. Now let's talk about soft selection in uh, rotate tool. It's like a move tool. As I turn on this or uh, press B key for soft selection and set this to fall off mode to object mode. Now press B and uh, left mouse button and uh, drag this to increase the radius of soft selection. Now, as you as you rotate this, you can see here, I can rotate all these option of object here. 
so this is uh, really cool options for soft selection now let's uh, all undo this and uh, get back to the key now tab b key to turn off the soft selection now let's talk about some symmetric setting in rotate tool i'm setting this symmetric setting to object x now hold b for a soft select and set this mode to volume so in rotate this you can see here as we can rotate in the symmetric object axis here now let's undo all that uh, control z now tab b to turn off this soft selection and uh, turn off the symmetric as well now select this object and press e for rotate tool or if uh, if you hold the shift key while rotating to clone this object here when i did this to move tool so holding shift key and rotate in creating a clone or duplication of that object so here you can see uh, i can easily duplicate or clone that object by holding shift key also if i select this face and hold shift key and rotate this face in component mode it can extrude that face so this is very interesting way to extrude any face or an object so just select the face here and hold shift key and drag so it is excluding while rotating and uh, scaling and any other operation now you can undo all that now moving on and uh, looking at uh, pivot point options so for that example if i press f and zoom in or focus on that uh, selected object now when i select this object and uh, you can see the pivot is right here now i press w to switch to move tool so if i want to change the pivot of this select object then press d key so by pressing d key to enable a pivot editing and here you can see the pivot position that you can move or adjust at anywhere now when you placed a pivot point in your desired position now press d key again and set this position permanent fix so by the editing of pivot point press d to enable editing and press d for set this position of pivot point now if i press e to rotate and then you can see i am rotating with respect to this pivot point location uh now here you can see here now same is going here in uh, rotate tool settings uh here it is called uh, pivot and uh, choose edit pivot then i move to this pivot point around until i turn this off and if i reset it and uh, it uh, go to this uh, center of the object now now move the pivot point on this edge of object uh yeah and the another way to set this pivot point is uh just go to the modify and uh, select this uh, center pivot now this go to the center of this object here now you know you now you can also match the pivot of one object to another object also so as we have this one and uh, this has two different pivot points so i select this object and uh, shift select this object and choose modify and go to match transformation and uh, then match pivot point so now this object has the same pivot point <coughs> sorry so this object has a same pivot point so if i select this of one so if i select this one and uh, rotate around now i can select this object and shift select this object now you can uh, rotate them both on that one pivot point now if you want to bake the pivot so that uh, this always will the same orientation so for that i'm going to select this object here and uh, choose modify and uh, center pivot and press d key now by the way uh, you can also press insert key to enable pivot editing this is uh, insert key 
now i am uh, rotating my pivot point in uh, random orientation now press d again to set this pivot position and go to modify and then bake pivot option here now set this orientation to choose bake pivot so thank you so much for watching and uh, please subscribe the channel uh, we will continue with the much advanced and detailed video uh, of uh, 3d maya so for now uh, thank you so much and uh, take care of yourself uh, see you soon bye bye